if i actually put color on here it just looks like somebody actually really hit me hard on the eye hi guys welcome to my channel and this is a bonus video for the week <laughs> who is that on a row well actually i just shot another a video for tuesday now well that is if i edit this fast enough and then it's supposed to go up before tuesday and that's why i'm wearing the same outfit for the video also because i'm lazy yeah and now i want to go out for a walk but before that i actually want to chat about something that has actually been on my mind for a while and i think it's about time we talk about it and talking of makeup uh not makeup but beauty i actually tried to do something with my eyeshadow see what it's not nice actually that's the best i can do here's the thing i absolutely love what eyeshadow looks like on other people but when i do it it just looks like somebody hit me really hard on the eye now i have like a black eye that's the best it gets like i actually just can only do this part of it like i think this is called the crease or something the lower part of the crease that's what beauty gurus i think call it i can't do the other part of my eye because why because whenever i do it it just looks like somebody hit me really hard on the eye and now i have a black eye only that it's pink or purple or whichever color that i make it it makes me so sad because i'd really really love to be able to you know slay. plus it's such a i think i actually like the distance between I, my eyebrows and my lashes because it's like such a large i mean like wide canvas but i can't do anything with it it is what it is so uh what i actually wanted to talk about is beauty trends that i absolutely don't understand i i don't understand where people are coming from with this let's start with skin routine um skin routine like you guys have you seen that is if you're not one of them already have you seen what girls do to them faces have you seen what girls do to their faces like and i should even give a disclaimer and <laughs> have you seen what girls do to their faces like in the name of skin routine that is if you're not one of them and if you're one of them i'd totally love to understand like you scrub your face you put a mask on oh first of all you remove if you had makeup or anything you clean it with a wipe you clean it with a cleanser you scrub it you put a mask on it and then you put something else and something else and something else and like a whole two three four whatever many number of compounds you decide to put in your face how do you justify that i don't know it just freaks me out watching it well but when i watch it uh, but when i watch their faces they're actually really smooth and stuff uh but recently actually i watched a video on joanna kino they are talking about the ordinary and how her face has broken out and just today i actually saw on natalie's story natalie tewa that her face is also breaking out and i'm like yo like i thought my face should be misbehaving like that because literally i um wash my face with uh, beauty soap that i wash my body with so literally i do zilch to my face but i'm like but these girls are just putting so much energy and effort to their face it shouldn't be reacting like that and then i'm like come to think about it like what justifies harassing your the skin on your face that much like you have skin on your body like your back like your whole body's skin like you don't do that do you, you don't do that to the rest of your body and it's fine like take a place like your arm or whatever like i my point is like you don't do that to other parts of your body which are still skin and they're pretty fine so why like how do you justify harassing your face like that i don't know to me that's harassment that's harassment and not to talk about people who shave their face like no i'm not talking about the mustache people literally shave their face like why like why please make me understand why you do all this to your face but then you don't do it to the rest of your body don't even get me started on makeup like 
just how much you have to do that just how much you have to do before you actually put on the makeup it just feels like harassment to me truly like if i were face skin i'd complain the other thing is wigs i love wigs but talk about frontals and gluing frontals to your forehead well the whole concept sounds weird to me again the whole concept sounds weird but when you're taking it off doesn't it come off in like all your hair like your baby hairs and then now your your hairline is just proceeding to higher grounds i cannot justify the concept of putting glue on my hair to be very honest i can't like and sure by the way that wig looks really good and you know and i get it you're securing it it looks really good and flat and you probably almost can't tell it's a wig but thinking about the hair underneath i can't man i i don't know i can't and maybe actually not maybe 70 percent of what i'm saying is naivete on my part but it, it really boggles my mind it's mind-boggling I don't understand most things about beauty, like makeup especially, but some of it is just mind-boggling. There's, there's no other way to explain it. And away from that, can we talk shaving? It's bad enough that, you know, I'm having to shave my armpit and my groin and sometimes try trim my eyebrows because they're usually very wild and everything. Like my eyebrows literally grow back up. So yeah, I do that. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's because of what I was holding. Yeah, like, it's bad enough that I had to trim that much of my of hair. But people who are go ahead to shave their legs and arms and their body. Do you know people? I know. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing this coffee because I want to go out for a walk and it gotta protect the forehead. So, otherwise, it's the sana no jua, so... are shaving the whole body like and unless you're a really wild beast looking person or light-skinned people light-skinned people i i get it like if you have maybe above average amount of hair on you it's definitely going to show but me for me uh my skin is pretty dark which thank god i don't need to shave so if you're dark why do you find it necessary to put the extra pressure of shaving places that you don't need to shave and in my in my head or oh, actually i think is that once you actually shave the first time you're kind of just it's like fertilizing the whole thing it now like grows like it's on steroids okay now like what is shaving up i know i could go on forever but let me just talk about the last one tongue piercing Talking about hair makes me feel sometimes a tongue piercing. First, let me understand this. When you pierced your tongue, did you not eat for like the first week? Um. Plus, your mouth is always wet. So, how does it even heal? Does it heal? And then, wait, hold up. Did you not brush for the whole? time before it healed that is if it has healed did you not brush for the whole time or when you brushed did you take it out and then take it back in or especially or did you like brush around it and isn't it painful when like toothpaste gets in it also like <laughs> when you eat do you take it out do you take the tongue ring out and then return it after you eat and if you take it out does food get into your hole like the hole on the tongue and do you remove it or do you just push it when you when you put it i know, I know it sounds dumb when you're putting back the ring or do you just eat with <laughs> or do you just eat with a with the with the ring on and does food not get stuck under the ring or something does food not get stuck under the ring 
And if it does, then you pick it with a toothpick or you take it out. How? How do you deal with a no with a tongue ring? Well, I get a nose one, you don't have to blow your nose. That's fine, but your tongue? And, and let's talk about your eating. I'm talking about when you're eating food with fiber. <laughs> Does it not like wrap around the curry? And then when you're swallowing, it's like pulling it down. Or you eat and then, <laughs> and then by the time you're done eating, like the ring is just wrapped in blankets of fiber. It's just weird, like, I, I cannot begin to understand. It's not that doing these things is bad. It's just that it doesn't make sense to me. It's just like, I've really tried to think about it. I've really, really tried to think about how people justify these things. I, I just don't know. And I need to go because I need to go take a walk. So that's the end of this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, you guys, subscribing is free. So just hit the subscription bell and no the button and the bell so that you don't miss new videos and yeah i really really need to go so thank you for watching this video peace